My name is Jan Small and I have been coming to uh, CPC for a little over a year. What brought me here was my friend Miranda Miller asked if she could exhibit uh, some of my art in the Westminster Room and so uh, we hung the show and we thought well why don't we just go and see and we love it. You know we just loved it. Uh, after I was married we moved away to Santa Rosa and I didn't go to church. I was working and uh, you know being a, a brand new wife and all and uh, I didn't know any places in town really right away so we just didn't go to church. You know being a mom was the hardest thing in the world for me to be because Larry and I lost three. You know over the years and the, the tragedy of losing the babies, I, uh, uh, I, I, I went on a quest. I had to find out why. And I sought the Lord to, why would he take my babies? Every day I got up and yelled at him, why did you take my babies, God? And during that time and the quest I was on, I came to know Jesus. Before I knew about him, you know, I knew about who he was and everything. My parents taught me, but I didn't know him. I didn't have like a personal relationship with him. But during this time, I came to know him. And then uh, one day when I was still asking God, why did you take my babies? Uh, he said, why do you begrudge me, your sons? I gave you mine. And then I understood. After I learned to draw and paint and do things that artists do, uh, one day the Lord uh, told me he wanted me to paint the book of Revelation. And so then I told him that I'm not a good enough artist to paint the book of Revelation. And uh, I said, but I know some people who could do that because they're really good artists. And I told him and he said, they won't give up the fame and fortune to do it for me. So I said, okay, I'll do it. This painting is Jesus taking the keys of hell and death from Satan. It's from Revelation 118, and it says, I am the first and last, the living one who died, who is now alive forevermore, who has the keys of hell and death. This is from uh, Revelation 3.8, and he says to that church, I've opened a door unto you that no one can shut. This painting is called When, and it's from Revelation 22, 12 through 14, and it says, See, I'm coming soon, and my reward is with me to repay everyone according to the deeds he has done. So after I finished painting the over 200 paintings for the book of Revelation, the Lord told me to put it into a book. The paintings took 19 years to paint, and the book took five years to write. Well, every morning when I get up, I take communion. And I just have cranberry juice and like a little oyster cracker. But I take communion because I want, I want to thank God for what He did for me. I want to thank Him for saving my soul, for sending His Son his only son and asking his son to die for me so that I would be forgiven of everything I ever did and I would get to spend eternity with him in heaven. So that's what I do. I get up every morning. <laughs> I just would like to state here that when God asks you to do something, even if you think you can't do it, Accept, accept the challenge, go for it, because He will make you up to the task. He can do things that you never could imagine.